Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Deponia. When we last left off, we finally were able to get uh, Goal here, and we need to get her to Cletus, so let's go ahead and do that, and I think what we need to do is set off. Okay, that didn't do too much. We just ended up right back where we were. So, um, well, let's see what happens if we uh, switch to the other side. Oh, that's right, that goes up there. Huh. Oh, you're quite heavy, babe. And I thought you were making yourself extra heavy when I lugged you up the hill just now. Never mind. The controls are exposed, and there's a circuit diagram. This will be easy as pie. Okay, so basically what he's saying is we need to take a look at this control panel here. Uh, mm -hmm. ah, yep, all clear. I don't have any trouble with pasta recipes. Okay, I thought we could interact with this maybe, but maybe not. Alright, well, oh, here we go. Alright, so. I think what's going to happen here is that these levers will control this diagram here. Let's just try one of the yellow, like, the yellow lever here. But I, I don't see any change immediately on this board. I'm just watching the board right now. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So, when you, as you can see here, when you hit the lever, I'll hit the yellow lever. I'll keep a note on, like, maybe this one or any of them. Any of the yellow ones. So, this one, these two right here, that one. As you can see, they'll switch directions. So... It kind of looks like maybe what we need to do is get the open path, and I don't really know what our goal is here. What our main objective is. But let's just go, go ahead and uh, set off. Let's just see what happens. That's where we end up. Alright, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright, this might take a little time. I'm not sure here. Um, okay. Let's try just pulling the green lever. And I think what will happen is this is going to determine the direction of where you go on the track. So if I go here, it looks like this might go this way. And then I'll go down here. And then I'll go back up, and then I bet I'll go back this way. Let's try, let's test it out. So I'm gonna do this circle right here. Nope. I think eventually what I want to do is get right here. This is my exit. All right. So that I didn't understand that at all. try this combination. So the red is pulled down, and I don't know if this is random as far as uh, if everyone's game is exactly set up like this, or if it's if, uh, no matter what when you play it's just a set. Ooh. Okay, so now we're here. Oh, okay, now it's gonna come out there and head right back. Okay. So let's try it with the red lever up and the green lever down then. Nope. Oh man, alright. So the green lever up. Alright, so no matter what. They only do two directions, so like this one for instance, it's either going to point this way, or this way. Apologies about the trial and error, but I have no idea. I 
Try stuff over and over and over again until we get this to work. Alright, what happens? To, did I chime when they're all up? I can't remember. They're all down. Nope, that's gonna take us right back. Okay. Just the yellow lever? back up, and then he's going to go right back that way, okay. Uh, just the red lever? <laughs> Apologies that this is not going so well, but... <clears throat> Oop. Oop, this could be promising, maybe. It's not. Bummer, okay. Just the green lever. It's gonna go up that way. Down. And back out. Okay, so what do I need to do here? So there's this, these things are here, switches right here. There's P1. And this P2. So if I run over the P1, it's going to switch the. Hmm. Let's see. other oh there's these down here too oh man what do these do okay so this one is p2 so this is the switch two this one is p1 right here the switch right here is p1 so this determines what color needs to be to switch the green. Alright, so we want this way, this way. No, we want this way, this way. So then when I hit the switch, it'll turn this straight instead of up. Alright. At least that's what I'm thinking anyway. It's the other way. We'll try it this way. We'll try this one red, so it turns all the red ones the opposite direction of whatever we set it. We'll leave the yellow lever down. We'll just leave it as it is. Let's just see what happens now that we have these reset. I didn't realize that these were actually something you could interact with, but that makes that makes all of the difference. Yeah, now we're really going places. Check it out, babe. Oh. Did I do it right? Oh, Rufus, you really are the best. True. So very true. <laughs> if you like that, then you'll love what's coming next. Oh, yeah. Look, the rails are still warm. What? Don't say you've already got one of these new infrared visors. Um, no. My beard sonar has gone to red alert. They have to be somewhere close by. I'll send a helmet fax to the bailiff immediately. You two are shitting me, right? Hold on for a second. My shoulder seismograph is giving me strange readings. You're right. I feel it too. Uh, um, guys, strange. According to the sole barometer in my boot, the ground pressure hasn't changed. <laughs> my sock spectrometer is still processing the data. Um, guys, so it can't be an earthquake. Wait. My kneecap ultrasound detector is registering strange readings from... <laughs> I'm a 
must have done it right, because I got a cutscene, which means that it must have been correct. Okay, so now we spin down around the loop here. Now we're facing the right direction. There we go, nice. Hey, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm not an easy man to break. <laughs> they call him Rufus. Rufus. And what a sight. The Lower Ascension Station. Uh, I did it once again. You see that? I did it. I, I, I. Oops. Maybe I should get you to a place that is a little more comfortable. Luckily, it'll be a downhill ride from here. So, do you want to be carried? which would be plain boring. Or do you prefer the fun and fast way? Yes! Historians would die for a way to decipher Apparently missing text passages here They still found no reasons why scratches and lesions Related to gold subsequently appear But then why should it bother you? For he finally managed to haul her more or less unharmed to the rendezvous spot <laughs> And that was without expecting any pay Except for the reward for charge It's not about the context, so get on with the plot Huzzah, get on with the plot Amen. Well, you'll be safe here for now. We just need to wait for your fiance to show up. <laughs> That Cletus guy is really a lucky fella. I hope he'll keep his promise. Well, now we just have to wait. I guess I should search for a way up to the platform on top of the tower. The view should be good from up there. Okay, so we finally got <coughs> to uh, somewhat where we need to be, and that was a very, very funny cutscene, that song. I, I like that one a lot. And it uh, looks like Goal is napping comfortably on something over here. I don't know where we are, but let's take a look at some of this stuff. It kind of looks like we're in a food place or maybe a candy store, considering that it's like gum and there's candy, cotton candy and things like that. So let's uh, take a look at the chewing gum dispenser. This doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach depicted instead with a hat and a cane. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Chewing gum and fast. What? Hmm. I want chewing gum. Huh. Voice control seems to be broken. All right. So now we have some chewing gum. How about the shelf right here? This seems to be in the wrong place. It isn't even level with the wall. Okay. Hey. There's something behind it. What the? A plug! Oh, man. Interesting. Okay, well, let's, uh... Not really. You crazy? It can't be that easy. <laughs> uh... Okay, so now the cotton candy machine is working. Let's check out the anchovy machine real quick. Fish with dynamite and sun dry. All right, let's uh, see if we can get some. A uh, one fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. All right. Yummy skewered anchovies. They had those when I was a kid too. Wow, exactly those. <laughs> All right, so now we have anchovy on a stick and uh, some chewing gum. Let's take a look at this cotton candy machine. I've been here before, as a kid, with my dad. I followed him when he noticed me. 
He was so happy that he bought me some cotton candy. Then he said I should wait for him while he was looking for the cable boat to Elysium. I never saw him again. Okay, nice. Let's take a look at these switches here. Looks like we can't look at them, we can just play with them. So let's just switch on this one. The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Aha! One off, two on. I'm getting there. Three and three. That's six, isn't it? It's impossible that these levers don't have any significance. <laughs> it's simply impossible. Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> he broke it. That's so funny. <laughs> What if I calculate cross totals? Okay, so obviously these switches have nothing to do with anything. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. All right. Wait, does it? I have to think binary. I have to think binary. <laughs> Suspicious lamps. These lamps must be of some significance. No. Okay, let's see. Can we take the cotton candy? One serving of cotton candy, please. I suppose the machine has no ears and no eyes. Otherwise, it'd be able to see who it's dealing with. Huh. I think some kind of stick has to go in there. All right. Oh, can we like eat the anchovy? Yummy! Skewered anchovies. They had those when I was a kid too. Wow! Exactly those. Any foodie knows anchovies get better the longer they're stored. Exactly. Mm. All I wanted to have was the stick anyway. Alright, let's get some cotton candy. I don't even know why we're doing this, but... What happens when we pull this lever? Oh, this selects the flavor of the cotton candy. Oh. It's set to the neutral at the moment. Now it's set to calzone. Now it's set to phosphor. Okay. Well, first we have to eat our cotton candy. Let's get the phosphor one. I think that's probably going to be the one we actually want. Let's take a look at it. You could read in the dark on the toilet after eating that. Okay. Oh, he ate it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's get the phosphor again. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's take a look at Cole, see how she's doing. I've laid her down on a bed of roses. Well, rose hips to be precise. Oh yeah, the gentle touch of nature's itching powder. <laughs> We've been through a long time. I bet your fiancé isn't half the daredevil I am. Huh. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see if we go up to the lobby. Alright, we have the, uh... Check this out. That's the entrance to the candy shop. After Dad left me, I lived there for a week. Or was it an hour? <laughs> Time passes so slowly when you're high on sugar. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Looks like that's all we can really do. Can we take a look at this stuff? Ooh, let's look at the mosaic table. Huh. The mosaic depicts a group of trash crabs in a mating ritual with cocktails and colorful twisted straws or it doesn't it's hard to make out any details without any light ah light you say okay well first let's uh go to the concourse here all right here's the mosaic table again let's use the Phosphor cotton candy since phosphor glows. And he did say that I could read with that. I think he said something along those lines. The cotton candy isn't glowing bright enough. Hmm. Okay. 
look at the hatch. And look at the niche in the wall. There's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing or nothing. One or zero. Ah, going back to binary again. All right, fair enough. Let's put the in the the phosphorus uh, or the phosphorus or phosphate phosphor <laughs> cotton candy into the niche here and maybe the mirrors and things will make it bright enough the stick fits into the fixture to shed light on the mosaic the cotton candy would have to be on fire or something hmm. okay so we can close it Ooh, there's a mosaic stone down here that must be a piece of one of the mosaics and Hey, hey, hey! Someone has scribbled something on it. Where's the rest of the message? Okay. So I'm assuming we have to put the tile in the mosaic somewhere here. Let's take a look at the lamp. The only light back here. Can we take it? I can't really do anything with it. There's a dirty mosaic hatch. Is there anything else? Only mud and dust. That's all I can make out. Okay. Can we open it up and see if there's anything in this hatch? I believe there's a tool that was specifically designed to remove dirt. At least, I think Tony once mentioned something like that. All right, so there's going to be a rag around somewhere here. Um, let's see. Let's take our cotton candy back. Maybe we can use it on the lamp to make it brighter. Hey, my epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. Nope, you didn't. It's always with you, I think. So now it's actually super bright. You can see it. So let's put that in the niche and see what happens. There we go. Let's go back to the lobby and see if it'll do anything. What happens if you open the hatch? There's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to folk that can only mean one or nothing. Okay, so what? Let's take our cotton candy back and go to this side of the mosaic and then put this in this one. see anything huh the mosaic depicts uh, a bunch of little guys they seem to be building something the raggedy clad little guys carry giant steel girders up a steep ramp the fancily clad ones stand at the side and design fancy ornaments hey that's the ascension station the departure to Elysium and I'm there too interesting So does that mean he's uh, part of this whole thing? That it was foretold in the prophecy? Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so that's the building of the Ascension Tower. This one, do we actually, I don't think I actually looked at the mosaic after we put the cotton candy in there, so obviously this is all telling a story. Huh. The mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Whoa, those guys are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been barbecue Thursday. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This one kind of looks like a tower here as well. Can I open this up? I couldn't even, can't remember if I could open it. I believe there's a tool, at least. Okay, yeah, we need to... 
We need to find something to clean that off, I think. Um. Okay, I guess the elevator, or yeah, the elevator is the only other way we can go. Oops. Keep going this way, Rufus. Rufus, what are you doing, Rufus? There we go. Alright. We have an oil tank lid. Oh, I see, okay. I can't see whether it's full or not. Plus, I don't have a match to shed light on the bottom. Too bad. Okay, well, I think before I go any further, I'm going to call it an episode here. Next time, we will keep exploring this area. It looks like it's been some sort of... It looks kind of old and worn down, just like the rest of the planet. So I think this is must be where, well, like you said in the mosaic, that the upper class left this area of the planet to go to probably Elysium, I'm assuming. But I guess this is our way to Elysium, is my guess. So next time we will uh, continue exploring this area and try and get gold to Cletus so that we can get our wish. So I will see you guys next time on Deponia. Until then.